someone wants to get back into their house, that's an issue. The initial danger of why people were evacuated, of course, was the fire. But as we know, the hazards that are uh, a result of the fire are numerous. So people might think that the, the fire danger is gone, but the dangers around uh, structures, commercial structures around the town itself are very uh, immense, uh, challenging. Uh, that includes utilities, power lines, uh, phone lines, uh, road conditions, culvert issue, there's septic tank issues, there's hazardous materials that uh, are being dealt with. So all these things, hazard trees, are being dealt with on, on a a basis by all cooperators in trying to make it safe for people to come back into town. Uh, we're having weather come in where the storms could potentially uh, push on these wires, knock these wires down. Uh, there could be, uh, if, if electric was here, these could become energized if electric fell, uh, fell onto them. So we want to get the message out that every company and every person is really trying to work to make these areas safe for people to come back into. The secondary issue or the subsequent issue is uh, we don't want to allow people back in and, and create a uh, an issue of access for all the people trying to do work. If we allow a lot of the populace back in, it, it could hinder the work that these people are trying to do right now. Right now the priority is uh, with all the cooperators uh, that have gotten together to try to get uh, this town put back together somewhat so people can get back in. Uh, the, the focus right now is on the Pence Road area. I just want to assure the public that, that everyone is working tirelessly to try to make this community safe for people to come back uh, to their, their homes or their residences, uh, to find closure, to search for their belongings. Uh, we understand it. We're, we're doing everything in our power to, to make it possible for them to get back as quickly and as safely as possible.